Main articles. Credit and Imperial Office of Customs. We mustn't forget that we have the credits. The credits to spend how we see fit. Arsene Crassus. Financier. Who thought that money was the solution to the empire's problems. The Galactic Empire adopted a planned economy, whereby production and distribution of goods were centralized and directed in the immediate aftermath of the Clone Wars. This policy of nationalization was called imperialization. Despite this, numerous third-party corporations were allowed to remain, with major loyalist companies Kuat Drive Yards and CNR Fleet Systems producing the majority of the Empire's land and space-based craft. Companies aligned with the Confederacy of Independent Systems during the Clone Wars, such as the Techno Union and Trade Federation, were absorbed by the newly formed Empire, and all Federation accounts plundered by Imperial financier Arson Crassus. By Zero BBY, both Incom Corporation and the Corellian Engineering Corporation had been nationalized. In addition to the Imperial Mining Institute, the Empire held a close association with Mining Guild. Towards the end of the Galactic Civil War, Fleet Admiral Gallius Rax began to nationalize all aspects of the Imperial production chain in the months following Endor, but the attempt proved unable to save the dying Empire. The continued funding of the Imperial military was hotly disputed. While briefly considered, it was decided that plundering the intergalactic banking clan and other monetary bodies would plunge the galaxy into an economic depression. In 19 BBY, the Republic credit was replaced by the Imperial credit, which became the standard currency in circulation throughout the Empire. With the advent of the New Order, credits from the time of the Galactic Republic became worthless as they were phased out. Since the Imperial credit was a fiat currency, Credits from the Empire gradually lost their value following the formation of the New Republic.